What's up, Africa? Zimbabwe's elections have kicked off, with early voting for the country's police and emergency services. I got an exclusive interview with a numbers expert for the ZANU-PF to find out how it's all gone so far. He can now! Things are perfect! We've already printed 69,000 voting ballots! <laughs> That's great, Count, but uh, according to Finance Minister Bitti, there are only 38,000 registered police officers. So, what do you do with all the blank ballots? No comment! Okay, but uh, what do you then say to allegations that the ZANU-PF will use the blank ballots to rig the election? Anyone who says that, Ikenna, will be thrown in jail for 10, 20, 30 years! Ha! Ha! Man, these foreign consultants may be expensive, but they are so damn good! But regardless of any vote rigging, sorry, I mean vote counting, the big question is who's going to lead the ZANU-PF after Robert Mugabe? Will it be current Vice President Joyce Mujuru, whose chances were pretty good until her hugely influential husband died in an accidental fire, or former Head of Intelligence and now Minister of Defence Emerson El Crocodilo Nangagwa, or one of the so-called Young Turks, a younger generation of ZANU-PF who say they're more in touch with the youth and want more power. This power struggle is like some sort of epic soap opera. Or perhaps Robert Mugabe isn't going anywhere. All right, that's it, guys. My name's Ikenaz Rike. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon for another edition of What's Up Africa.